Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, obviously, we're all experiencing some pretty challenging times right now, which is why I want to continue to bring you guys as many resources to help you navigate through this as possible. Today, I've got a really exciting collaboration that I'm doing with an artificial intelligence company that has a software program available that will help you guys navigate through finding traditional properties or short-term rental properties. Obviously, we're all expecting things to, to level out at some point, which will then be, of course, probably one of the best times in history to get involved in real estate investing. So I think being prepared with as many tools as possible is really important. Uh, arguably as important as it's ever been. Um, today, I'm going to be sitting with Adam Williams. Adam is uh, an associate over at Mash Pfizer, And this is a company that has come to me and said, hey, we've got this great product. We'd love for you to experiment with it. Uh, I went ahead and checked it out. I, I went ahead and then made the acquisition of the product and found it to be quite phenomenal. So I'm excited to share this with you. Adam's going to be walking us through this as if He's doing a demo with you guys for the first time. But let me just say on the front end that um, I've been working with the CEO, Peter, for a, a while on this, and we've managed to secure a, an 82% discount off of the cost of this product for you guys, um, in addition to it being a one-time lifetime access payment, bringing the cost down to just under $350 total one time versus their $950 per year typical cost. So just wanna get that out of the way up front because obviously this is a huge, huge discount and having this in your arsenal or this arrow in your quiver, so to speak, I think is gonna be really important moving into the next chapter of real estate investing. So without further ado, Adam, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate that. Hey, thanks for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity. Sure, so you're gonna just walk us through this thing, obviously. Um, I've been through it before. I, I use the tool now to do my own research. Uh, my real estate investing is currently paused, which means that I haven't used it a great deal. Um, and so your help on this is going to be uh, really useful. I, uh, I'm excited to get in and, and see what you have to show us here. Sounds great. Um, well, this is the homepage and basically you can just start off by searching a city like say for example you wanted to look up in Orlando, Florida. You'll get directed to the first page here which is going to show you a map on the left hand side and the listings on the right hand side. Basically uh, what's really neat about this map, um, you have the explore the data data options where you can choose like say I'm really interested in Airbnb and I wanted to just kind of take a step back and get a general idea of where's the best Airbnb rental income. If you click on this, it'll actually color code the map and um, present to you the areas in uh, red that are, that are going to be the producing the least rental income and the areas in the green are going to be producing the higher um, incomes. Um, there's a few different heat maps for um, that are available. You have listing price, you have Airbnb cash on cash return, traditional cash on cash return, you have traditional rental income, and you also have Airbnb occupancy rate as well. Um, very, very nice feature to have just like I said, you know, kind of get a overall general idea of what's going on in the area. Okay. And um, when you zoom in as well, it'll recalculate and reposition everything for you as well. I see. Cool. So on the right hand side, you're gonna have, you're, you're gonna have different tabs here. We the first one that we land that we land on is the investment tab, and this is gonna show you the properties that are available on the map area. The second tab. And by the way, the little descriptions, they give you the address, uh, a brief description, and they give you a quick snapshot of the cash on cash and the cap rate. For the Airbnb tab here, if we click on this, it will be directed to the current um, performing Airbnbs in, in those areas on the map. Um, so these are not properties that are available for purchase, but these are basically your rental comps. This is what we're what we use to obtain um, things like comparable rental income and occupancy rates and things like that. Um, and then as well, you have the traditional tab, which will show you the monthly uh, rentals for rental comps um, in those areas. And, and then you have another tab here, local news, that will uh, show you some 
local news in that area regarding investments. I'm gonna go on here to investments. I'm gonna go back here. Up top above, you have the filtrations. So we can switch here from a cash on cash to a mortgage calculator. Um, you can identify, for example, you wanted to put down a $50,000 uh, down payment. Um, you can choose between the low type, either 15 or 30 years. Um, and then uh, it's auto filled with the current interest rate, but you have the option to change as well. And when you click calculate, the numbers, the numbers will get readjusted instantaneously. So, um, you know, that way, it, you know, when you're taking a, a quick view of what's going on, um, you have that data available here for you. Now, let's say, for example, we wanted to filter out and, um, you know, we're looking for a property and I want to offer properties that are capable of performing at a 7% cash on cash return, for example, and also a 10, 9% cap rate. So these two are measures of profitability, uh, Matt. You know, they, uh, the two um, measurements together are used by many investors that just want to kind of um, get overall uh, indication of a property's potential before they um, go into it any further. Um, and typically from our research, you know, a good range to be in is probably between the 4 and 12% range. Um, so, um, you know, if, when you filter out using cash on cash and cap rate, you basically short list the properties on the right hand side that you can choose from that meet your criteria. Let's say for example, I'm just gonna click on one. And once you click on that property, it's gonna take you to the um, property page of that property. And this is where you get the side by side comparison where now we're actually doing some uh, you know, data analysis where we're comparing the Airbnb versus the traditional um, rental strategies. So, um, you know, if we were to, if we, if we were interested in this property here at 435, um, based on all the data that we've collected, an Airbnb strategy would um, most likely produce a $4,252 uh, $4, a month in uh, comparable income versus traditional would be producing about 2218. And also on this page, um, we give you uh, monthly expenses. And if you subtract the two, it gives you the cash flow for the month. And then of course your cash on cash and your cap rate. Now at this point, a lot of people say, well, wait a second, how accurate is that 4,252 number? Um, well, it's really nice that you can click on the valuation analysis and right away you'll be taken to you'll be taken to um, a list of comparables near that listing that we were just uh, looking at. So basically, here's uh, you know going down uh, from 68% similar. They give you a similarity rating. They give you the distance as well. So these are like within 1.7 miles, 1.7 from Airbnb. Um, their nightly rate, their monthly income as well. Okay, and wow. even so some reviews and ratings. These, where are you pulling all your data? Uh, the data from Airbnb comes directly through um, public API um, access. Okay, and then the property listings? Um, the traditional as well. Um, we use, for the traditional, we use several sources, but still obtained through APIs. We use uh, hot pads, we use rent jungle, Zillow. There's a few other as well. And we kind of, um, you know, Matt, the whole idea behind mash visors that we're mashing the numbers and putting them together. So, um, you know, uh, we give you the comparable rental income for a traditional based on all those sources. And for Airbnb, it's coming directly from Airbnb. It's not from a third source. Mm. So, uh, but you're not partnered with the MLS, I, uh, from my understanding. No, no, unfortunately, yeah. we're not a brokerage. Um, we, it, you know, we, we couldn't access the MLSs uh, directly. There's many of them across the nation. Um, however, we resorted to providing M uh, MLS listings on the, on the platform through a company called ListUp. 
and we've managed to obtain hundreds of thousands of listings across the nation and Hawaii directly from ListHub. So I've seen on MashVisor before that a property that I was looking for had not been listed. Why would, why would a listing not show up in MASH? Uh, very good question. This happens when the listing agent, um, their brokerage is not opted into list hub. So it will appear on the MLS, but unfortunately if the broker in that area is not opted into uh, list hub, then it will not carry over. And mm. we actually update with ListHub on a daily basis. So every time an agent or a broker that makes a uh, change to their listing that has opted into ListHub, it will show up instantaneously on our platform as well. But if they're not opted into ListHub, then it will not carry over and it will not show up on the platform. However, we've actually added a feature in where now users can add listings. Yeah, I, see, I saw that in my demo. That was really slick. Yep. So we give you, you know, we've alleviated that by ha having the capability of adding the listing. And not only that, but we go one step further. You can also publish it for everyone to see on the platform, or you can restrict it to your account. Hmm. Yeah, because the data you guys provide, I mean, th this overall analysis, people should already be able to tell within just the brief snapshot you've provided us so far that this analysis tool is, it, it's extremely powerful as long as the data is accurate. How, how accurate would you say this information is? Um, I would say we're 95% accurate with 5% uh, being, you know, give or take. Um, and and to, um, to talk a little bit about that as well, we made this feature, you know, you have to remember MashVisor is a tool for investors to use so that they can reduce their risk before purchasing a property. So yeah. this is a very intuitive tool in which you can even come over here and edit your comparable rental income. So let's just say, for example, um, you don't agree with the 4252 and you think it, maybe it's much higher. Maybe you have several friends in that area and they're telling you they're making $5,500 a month. Well, you can come over here and do $5,500 a month and immediately it will recalculate the numbers for you. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so this is this will be a great tool on short term rentals once the market resumes. Um, but even long term rentals, this this is a terrific tool to have in play immediately. And I'm certainly not going to be sitting on the sidelines doing nothing during this time. It's a matter of being as active as possible and starting to sort and qualify the deals as they start showing up because I imagine there's probably going to be many. Absolutely. It's the best time to start doing research. Absolutely. Do you guys, do you guys have multi -li multi-family listings in here too? Uh, we do have a filter for multi-family uh, listings. We can go back to this page here and you can go to the more filters. Um, you can filter by property type. You can choose multi-family and once you apply that as well, it'll recalculate. But again, I'm kind of zoomed into a particular location here. I have my filter set, remove that, zoom out. So here's multifamilies. Now, one thing I wanna um, let you know, the multifamily, we do, we do not show Airbnb comps for multifamily. Unfortunately, um, there's just too much variation with owners. It could be, for example, what I mean by that is that it could be a four unit multifamily and the owner could be using one unit as an Airbnb and the other three as traditional. And then down the street, you have another four unit where that owner might be doing three Airbnbs and one as traditional. So it becomes very difficult to provide an accurate number for the Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Man, this is so awesome. I, I can't wait for this to play a vital role in, in my buying. Um, so just to review again, the cost is typically nine fifty per year, but you guys have managed to uh, work an arrangement for our audience of a $349 one-time cost. I've only seen it listed for that in a really brief promotion that you guys were running. I, I want to say at the very end of last year, um, which is what got me excited about it in the first place. And I reached out to Peter. Now guys, just to be clear on this, based on Peter and my agreement, this expert plan, which is $79.17 per month, is going to be reduced down to the $349 one-time lifetime access 
I'm going to put a link in the description below for you guys so that you can access that specific discounted rate. So just go down to the description in this video and take a look at that link. Is there anything else you wanted to show us before we wrap this up? The new design of Mash Visor, it gives you the ability to access the photos here and everything. Um, you know, an, another really nice feature is this property finder feature. So okay. if you're, if you have access to the expert plan, for example, you would be able to come over here. Like we've already started searching for Orlando, but let's say we we're not sure about which market we wanted to research and we wanted to compare that to Fort Lauderdale, for example, and Miami as well. Okay. Um, and even I was thinking about Austin, Texas, for example. Okay, you can you can put um, a number of cities um, and get the properties organized in decreasing order of cash on cash return. Okay, so let's say, for example, we're really interested in Airbnb. You can come over here and hit Airbnb for the rental strategy. And now you'll see that the cash on cash for Airbnb is listed first in Miami, then Austin and then Miami again and so on and so on. Any one of these properties that you wanted to look at a little bit further, you can, you can open it in the tab here and it'll take you directly to the property page again. You can save these properties. You can see um, the side-by-side -side comparison and everything that goes along with that. If oh, you, if, you know, this is a really nice tool to have for somebody um, and, um, you know, who's considering multiple markets or maybe even um, two neighborhoods that are nearby or something, um, you know, east side versus west side, you know, whatever it may be, it's a really nice tool to kind of just uh, get a quick comparison and organize them for you in decreasing order of cash on cash return. Man, this, is, this tool is so awesome. Probably the only thing I could think is missing is a comprehensive collection of updated listings. I mean, the only thing that would make this better would be if you were directly partnered with the MLS or the multiple MLSs that exist. So. We're trying, we, we want access to the MLS, but unfortunately, because you know we're not a brokerage, uh, we're not allowed to access the MLS and we're trying as much as we can. Um, but in the meantime, we're making do with, um, you know, with access through List Hub. And we've also, here's through the Mashboard, you can um, add a property through this link here. Now, so if I have you, property, is it available to everybody else or does that remain purely private for my, my membership? Once you add a property on the bottom of the uh, wizard, uh, you'll, be, you'll see the toggle for it if you want to publish it on Mashvisor. And if you choose to publish it, then everyone will see the listing. Cool. All right. Yep. Great. Yep. This is fantastic. Adam, again, I want to thank you for your time today. Anybody uh -huh. that is curious or interested can obviously start with a trial and get a demo that's a little more thorough and specific to your individual questions. But to our audience, I want to thank you guys for checking this out with me here today. I think this would be a really powerful addition to anything you're trying to do within real estate uh, as the market continues to uh, unpack itself during these uh, interesting times that we're going through. So Adam, thanks again, my man. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll get some people heading your way. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thanks. Enjoy the rest Everyone. of your day. Take care. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye. Thanks, Adam. Bye-bye.